And we're back. We're back in flight school. We're uh, going to see if we can carry on to um, get work our way towards doing our final test. This is going to be lesson number five. So, um, yeah, let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to Flight School. And so here we are then, about to take on lesson number five. So let's get going. We'll carry on in the UK. So because carrying on starting somewhere else wouldn't really be ideal, would it? So here we are, approach and landing. An important skill to master is smooth landings. You should treat the aircraft with respect uh, during the entire phase of descent to touchdown. You need to be one step ahead at all times. You need to set the aircraft up for landing, maintain your rate of descent by controlling power, lowering flaps and pitching the aircraft up or down to finely tune your approach. Um, before we start this, um, a little bit of an um, update for you. I actually recorded the first part of this about an hour and a half ago. The introduction. Um, sorry, I'm still out of breath. Um, between, I've had some issues with uh, when running firm bus that the screens go solid color and then the game uh, cuts out. Um, um, looked online, obviously, and it seems like it could be a power supply problem. Started doing this earlier and it did the same thing. Um, so a quick check on my power supply uh, found that it was 250 watt. Um, and I've got a 970 graphics card in there now. Um, so I'm hoping that's the issue. Quick trip to Maplin's, the only graphics uh, power supply they had in was a 350 watt. Uh, so I bought that as a temporary measure. Um, we're running. <laughs> I don't know yet whether it's going to work. Um, so we'll click uh, fly now. So there we go, a bit of an update for you. Uh, if you're new to my videos, uh, as always, welcome. There's a new OMSI video on the channel every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Something from trains on a Tuesday. Something from flight like this, normally on a Thursday. But I wanted to finish these uh, lessons off. Um, something from Fernbus is normally in this slot on a Friday. I may stick that in um, over the weekend now. Or maybe do two for next week, we'll see. But I wanted to get these finished. Um, so I'm now crossing everything that I've got to hope that um, this works. Hoping the extra 100 watts of power that I've now given the graphics card um, should suffice. I had no problems before. Um, all of a sudden it's decided it doesn't like power. White Waltham Radio, Cub Golf Delta Lima, downwind for runway 25, full stop. Just okay, you have control. Hold 1,000 feet, 70 miles per hour, and a heading of 090 degrees. Okay. Ready to return to Earth? Believe it or not, you've already learned everything you need to know to land. You just need to put it all together. I'll walk you through it. We'll land on that runway, just off the left wing. Good job holding heading, airspeed, and altitude. Done First we'll start descending. Then we'll make a left turn all the way around to line up with the runway. The secret to making a good landing is a stable approach. Remember, set the throttle control and leave it alone. Use pitch to control airspeed. Yeah, I don't know which way I'm going. East. All right, it's time to start descending to the runway. Reduce power to 1400 RPM and lower the nose a bit. Then lower one notch of flaps. For now, leave the power at 1400 RPM and trim for 55 miles per hour. Now turn left to three four zero degrees. 
Be time. sure to maintain 55 miles per hour. For the first time I've actually heard the instructor's voice. So something's changed. You're too far to the right. I have control. We're going around. Uh, okay, well. I'm actually gonna do that again. So yeah, it's actually the first time I've heard the instructor's voice in any of these. Um, so something certainly changed there, and I don't know what it is. But, um, okay. Oh, he talks now. So yeah, we'll do that again. White Waltham Radio, Cub Golf Delta Lima, downwind for runway 25, full stop. Okay, you have control. Hold 1,000 feet, 70 miles per hour, and a heading of 090 degrees. Ready to return to Earth? Believe it or not, you've already learned everything you need to know to land. You just need to put it all together. I'll walk you through it. We'll land on that runway, just off the left wing. Still Good up. job holding heading, airspeed, and altitude. Up down there. First, we'll start descending. Then we'll make a left turn all the way around to line up with the runway. The secret to making a good landing is a stable approach. Remember, set the throttle control and leave it alone. Use pitch to control airspeed. All right. It's time to start descending to the runway. Reduce power to 1400 RPM and lower the nose a bit. Then lower one notch of flaps. And lower the flaps a notch. I'll lower the flaps for you. For now, leave the power at 1400 RPM and trim for 55 miles per hour. Now turn left to 340 degrees. Be sure to maintain 55 miles per hour. Now start watching the runway. Our next turn will be to line up for landing. That's right. You can tell you're lined up properly when the runway appears straight up and down compared to the horizon. Okay. Go ahead and turn towards the runway. Runway heading is 250 degrees. and lower the flaps to 20 degrees. I'll try pressing F7 in a minute. I'll lower the flaps for you. Thank you. Now adjust pitch and power to maintain 50 miles per hour to the runway. And you're too slow to make a safe approach. I have control. Cub Golf Delta Lima going around. Right on speed and glide slope. Very nice. What? From here, watch the numbers on the runway. Fly right... That was ridiculous. Right, we've got to do that again. <laughs> How many attempts does it take for that to play? Blimey, he's picky on the speed, isn't he? I'm determined to do this. This is a challenge.
White Watson Radio, Cub Golf Delta Lima, downwind for runway 25, full stop. OK, you have control. Hold 1,000 feet, 70 miles per hour, and a heading of 090 degrees. Ready to return to Earth? Believe it or not, you've already learned everything you need to know to land. You just need to put it all together. I'll walk you through it. We'll land on that runway, just off the left wing. Good job holding heading, airspeed and altitude. First we'll start descending, then we'll make a left turn all the way around to line up with the runway. The secret to making a good landing is a stable approach. Remember, set the throttle control and leave it alone. Use pitch to control airspeed. All right, it's time to start descending to the runway. Reduce power to 1400 RPM and lower the nose a bit. Then lower one notch of flaps. Yeah, you can do that. And lower the flaps a notch. No, you can do that. Now turn left to 340 degrees. I'll lower the flaps for you. Thank you. For now, leave the power at 1400 RPM and trim for 55 miles per hour. Be sure to maintain 55 miles per hour. And now start watching the runway. Our next turn will be to line up for landing. That's right. You can tell you're lined up properly when the runway appears straight up and down compared to the horizon. Go ahead and turn towards the runway. Runway heading is 250 degrees. Go ahead and lower the flaps to 20 degrees. I'll lower the flaps for you. Now adjust pitch and power to maintain 50 miles per hour to the runway. You're a little high. Lower the nose. Reduce power a little, if needed, to maintain 50 miles per hour. From here, watch the numbers on the runway. Fly right at them. Maintain 50 and keep those numbers motionless on the windscreen. Pull the power back to idle. Slowly raise the nose until we settle onto the runway. Use rudder to stay on the runway center line. Good. Turn off the runway to the left and come to a stop. Good, stop here. Superb, congratulations on your first landing. That was a really good approach. Nice touchdown. Yay! Blimey. That was, that was hard work. That really was hard work. Three attempts. Okay. Hey, right. I need to accrue, accrue three hours of solo flight time in free flight mode before I can attempt my license. Okay. Um, right. And I've got zero hours. So next time then, um, it may be the license, but it may be, uh, it may be not the license. Um, the day after this goes live, I'm actually at the uh, the flight sim show up at uh, RAF Cosford, um, hoping to learn a bit more about flight. Um, so it could be that we just scrap this all together, um, but I do want to do that aircraft license. So I may have to battle on and do some so solo flying in this. Um, we did it. Uh, lesson five is done. Uh, we'll call it a day there. Until the next time, if you have been, 
Thanks very much for watching.